So let's now talk about individual channel extraction. This is a slick new feature that we just added into Ultra. And that allows you to grab, just say like the left or the right channel only of a serial file or channel three of a channel file. You can just grab any single file. So by doing this, you can just hover over the drag and drop bar and you'll see this M1 and two pop up it's just because there's only two channels. And if I hit the two, it shows me the right channel. If I hit escape, it restores the channels. Go back, get a one, and that shows me the left channel. Hit escape. You can also just use your keypad. Just hit, I'm just going between one and two right now for left and right. Escape to restore it again. And there's also a sum to mono to crash these down. So hit the M and actually sums the channels. And once a channel has been extracted, you can do with it like you can any other file. You can tag it, you can spot it, you can drag it over to your DAW, and all that other good stuff. Another great new feature that is exclusive to the Ultra Edition is batch tagging and renaming. And this is all done from the details panel. So let's go over here, click this gear icon. And right now we're in dynamic display. So let's switch this to user definable. And now we're gonna choose fields that we wanna edit. So let's turn on the designer here and turn on episode. Close out of that. So now, Let's uh, copy my name here because I want to put my name in some of these other files that don't have it yet. Select these and then just double click back in the designer field, paste it in there, hit enter, and there it's written right into the IXML chunk. Let's do, uh, let's do some more episodes here. Let's tag these. Let's go there and then episode and double click that. Type Cora. The new offline renaming section of the rename panel has some handy features. This allows you to rename selected records instead of just the files that are being transferred. So say um, we want to remove the spaces out of these, we can go use this rename button and go to the top here, say remove spaces. And when you hover over each button, it actually shows you what's going to apply to the selected field. So we, we can see that the field is comments, so we want to remove spaces to the comments, and so let's just hit rename and see what happens. And there you have it. So now, let's, uh, let's copy the comments to the notes. So let's switch this one down here to notes. You see, once again, when you hover over the copy button, it shows you that it's gonna copy from the comments to the notes. There you go because you never can have too much awesome. And the very last section to talk about is the preset functions. So we're gonna set this to clear value for selected field. And you can see when you hover over the apply button that it's gonna be applied to the comments field. The very last thing to talk about in this video is adding pictures to your audio files. You can add PNGs, GIF files, JPEGs. So basically they should follow ID3, MP3 standards and usually a 300 pixel by 300 pixel square image is best. So let's, uh, let's find a file on the hard drive. Let's grab this green masher picture and just drag it over to the details panel and you'll see the Mona Lisa up here and just let it go. And you'll see that it got added. You can also add this to multiple files Go back, drag it on over, and there you have it. All these files now, all these awesome files have an awesome picture in them now.